White Sox hosting the Brewers, and the Brewers are minus 140 on the money line. The White Sox are plus 126 over under eight runs. The Brewers laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 108, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, it has to be by two. And the White Sox getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 130, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win, they lose by one, you win. Neither one of these pitchers pitched against the opposing team either last year or this year. The Brewers are 2-1 and one in Woodruff's three appearances. He's averaging five and a third innings pitched and seven strikeouts per game in those games. For Shulston, they're four and six in his last 10. He's averaging three innings pitched and two and a half strikeouts per game in those games. They've been using him both as a starter and a reliever. Head to head, the road team is seven and three. The Brewers are six and four. The underdog is six and four on the money line. And the underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is seven and three. There have been three one run games in the last 10, including the game they played against each other today, which went into extra innings. The under is five, two and three, and the under eight specifically is six, three and one. The game they played today, the Brewers beat the White Sox seven to six. The White Sox, while the Brewers are six and four in their last 10, three and one in their last four. Beating the Rockies 12-1, then losing 7-3 to the Rockies, and then back-to-back 7-6 victories over the Rockies and the White Sox. The over has hit in their last four games, and the over is 7-3 in their last 10. For the White Sox, they're 4-6 and six in their last 10. The under is 6-4 in their last 10, and the, under, the over has hit in their last two games. They are... 2-2 two two in their last four, beating the Yankees 5-1, then losing 7-1 to the Yankees, then beating the Yankees 9-2, and then losing to the Brewers 7-6. This is a damned if you do, damned if you don't situation for me because uh, the White Sox always find a way to stick it to me. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take the Brewers with the money line. I'm going to take the Brewers laying the runs, and I'm going to go under in this game. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut. And please bet responsibly.